police officers charged in the death of an individual in their custody. Video of them laughing about it has surfaced. Let's go to the video first and I'll give you the background to the story. Give me your left arm. Give me your left arm. Stay down. Left arm. Lay foot, lay down flat on your stomach. Lay down flat. All right, stop. I got it. Hey, we go ahead. When he up, I'm gonna need you to Nah, I, I got him. Get your knee off. I got him. I'm guarding. Get your knee off his back. I got him. All right, stand, stand up. up. Stand up. Come on. All right. Let's take off. We got to Get him against the car. At least get him against the car. Big foot. Hey, you know what y'all say? I tried. I tried. Come on. 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 Come In Mississippi, back in December last year, police tased a man multiple times during a property call, trespass. It's considered, considered a property crime. Keith Muriel tasered multiple times. Jackson police officers, James Land, Kenya McCarthy, and Avery Willis have now all been charged in connection to the in custody death of Mr. Keith Muriel. The officers tackled Muriel while arresting him for allegedly trespassing at a hotel. After they asked him to leave the building's parking lot. The footage showed then officers Avery Willis Kenya McCarthy and James Land struggling to handcuff Muriel as he was stunned numerous times for over 10 minutes. Now I want you to keep the picture up because there's a policy and I checked this morning to make sure I was right on the policy. There's a policy that most police divisions implement. Basically, you cannot shock someone with a taser for a prolonged amount of time. Uh, naturally, 10 minutes is just way too long because they understand at some point the human body will respond to that level of trauma in the same way it would respond to bullets in the body. And if the individual is not posing an imminent threat, you do not need to utilize the taser in a way that creates death because now you have said this action is worthy of death. We clearly see that Mr. Muriel was not placing, he did not place any cop in imminent danger. So after officers handcuffed Muriel, they placed him horizontally in the back of the patrol car. Imagine that. They arrest him, handcuff him, and then place him horizontally in the patrol car after the trauma that they gave him. 17 minutes of the hour long body camera footage shows officers trying to place Muriel inside the vehicle. The remaining 43 minutes of the footage doesn't show paramedics arriving or the officers even checking on Mr. Muriel to see if he needed immediate medical aid, which by the way, any human being would being shocked that many times over that period of time. The footage is broken up into multiple clips and it is unclear whether the officers attended to Mario off camera at all. What is clear, however, is that during the 43 minute period, 
the officers joked around about the encounter. Quote, I hope he is asleep because if he's asleep, it'll be a good ride. Willis is heard saying on camera, using a racial slur to refer to Muriel. It was funny seeing his feet in the air, one said. In the beginning, it was funny. After a while, it just got annoying, another said. All three officers were placed on administrative leave after the incident. McCarthy was fired in February and Willis and land in April. Hines County Sheriff Tyree Jones told WJTV that land is out of jail on a $75,000 bond. McCarty is out on a $150,000 bond. The sheriff on Wednesday said Willis had not yet been arrested. And a spokesperson for the department did not respond to a phone message Thursday asking if he was in custody. Well, let me go ahead and tell you what's happening. Uh, That person is your state's evidence person. They've turned state on you. They have likely an immunity clause now. Okay, what are we talking about? What's the genesis of this? Trespassing, is trespassing a felony? No, it's not. In some cases, it's not even a misdemeanor. It's a civil offense, not punishable by incarceration. So a man is dead. Because the cops enforced a misdemeanor property crime of a corporation known as a hotel. Now look at the statistics. On average, police officers spend about 83% of their time writing tickets. That's the average police force. Uh, And then the second dynamic of law enforcement, the most numerous, enforcing property crimes. And then you get into your offenses related to real crime, violent crimes that we talk about. that impact the community in such a massive and adverse way. When are we going to stop allowing government to tell us that it is okay for the cops to do this to enforce a property crime element? Why is it okay to do that to a person for a misdemeanor even if that? These things are not normative. We have come to accept them as normal. And if we stop talking about it, and if we stop being outraged by it, we have already lost the moral narrative. We have to return back to some decency people, we all do. Because for a man to be dead because he was walking on the damn parking lot of a hotel, and people are acting as if this was okay or justified by the cops. Well, they have lost all sense of valuing the great dynamic known as life. I would hope we can return to it. Sharon, thoughts here. We've been indoctrinated. Too yeah. many people have been indoctrinated to believe that what we just saw showing up, he said it's not even a felony, not punishable by jail time. And yet, what we saw, was a gang carry out that violent crime that you got to later in the statistics, Dr. Ritchie. And for the city to release the footage without the family being given proper notice and watching this man tortured. Justice Department has an anti-torture statute on the books. And I don't understand what takes six months here. We saw torture. That's right, that's right. And we have tools. We have tools. We don't need new laws if you utilize the tools you currently have effectively. We've seen DAs do it. Without new legislation, we've seen DAs hold cops accountable. You don't need new laws, you need new leaders. That's what you need. We will bring you updates as the story develops.